there are three objectives in this program, which is first, uh, to apply certain computer programming skills that have been learned during the learning process. The second objective for this program is to provide users with a fast system by creating a student grading system that can display the uh, student report in the system. And lastly, uh, this program is to facilitate users to update their students as a result. Next, for the analysis in this program, we have um, three analysis, which is input, output, and process. In the input, we concluded the name, gender, which is uh, male or female, identity card number, class type, which is A, B, C, and D, quantity subject, subject names, BM, BI, MT, science, sejarah, or political Islam. And lastly, is percentage mark. For the process, uh, we have total percentage student display grade and pass or fail. And for the output, uh, we concluded the display grade, average grade, highest and lowest marks, and also sleep results. How information system work in the past and today are completely different. It is because of the current system that will automatically that we can easily organize the system and student grading information. The student credit information of our country measures to use a conventional system for managing and storing their data. Systematic management grading is very important in improving the quality of our school students. In the past, people tend to manage it in handwriting or file in with information subject in a regularly manner. Sometimes, they can be led to some error in information management as it done manually. Therefore, we have created a facility that is a GPS grade system. The GPS grade system, better known as a school student grade, is an efficient system to determine grade based on KPI that have been prepared for all school students in Malaysia. For users are interested, our grade system is free and can be found in form of apps and Google. Users only need to enter their student personal information and the score value in form of percentage to use our system, which is very easy to use. The result will display form of the grade. There are many benefits of our user for our system, especially teacher. The teacher town may be safe without making any error in the calculation of student grade. Based on our rating, we got for one of the school that have become user of our apps, namely Skola Kebas Arinti Indah. The school has two lower classes. Almost all the students in the classes have lowest grade among the students. They are always advised to be supervised by their parents, but with our system, these two classes can approve their score until they reach the KPI level. This happens because our system is their main guard. They look at their grade and compare with the past exam grade. Main flashcard, first they will read the answer to start the programmer. And then, if the user says yes to start the credit system, they will read the amount of student and read the student name. After that, they will give the two options, which is read the gender F or M. If they say F, we display gender F or female. And if they choose M, we display gender M. And they will read the entity card and display it. After that, we display Skola Kebas and Bukit Inda. Flow chart class type, they will read class type as A, B, C, and D. If they choose a class name A, we display class name Aman. If they choose class name B, we display class name Bijak. If they choose class name C, we display class name Charming. And if they choose class name D, we display class name Diamond. And they will read the percentage. If the percentage less than 39, we start grade as a D and count grade D++. Plus plus. If the percentage more than 39 and less than 59, we set grade as a C and count grade C++. Plus plus. If the percentage more than 60 and less than 79, we set grade as a B and count grade B++. Plus plus. 
and in the percentage less than 100 we set as a grade A and count grade A plus plus and more than that we display invalid after that we will we'll be read the percentage of all the subjects PM, PI, Science, Mathematics, Sejarah and Pendidikan Islam I will display all the grade subject BM, BI, Science, Mathematics, Sejarah and Pendidikan Islam That will be count all the grade determined in the field of past If they have a lot of grade D in their result will be display field If they are no grade D in their result we display pass and we are gonna total all the grade First, we are gonna total of the count grade A and display total amount of grade A and total of count grade B and display total amount of grade B count grade C and display total amount of grade C and lastly total of count grade D and display total amount of grade D after that they will read the teacher name and read the teacher comment and display the teacher name and display the teacher comment and display total of a student and display total of a student and they will read the percentage mark of student and either highest percentage of mark student or lowest percentage mark of student and they will display lowest and highest percentage mark of student and you and they will display do you want to continue the grading system if the user say yes they will return to the first main flowchart if the user say no they will end flowchart array for the user to enter percentage mark of student first they will set number k in and set i as a zero if the i less than k in they will read the number i and go to i plus plus they will repeat the same process until the i more than k in and the array will end the flowchart array for the user enter the percentage mark of the highest and lowest mark first they will set number as a 6 and j as a 0 and if the j less than 6 they will read the number j and j plus plus they will repeat the process until the j more than 6 the j more than 6 we go to option highest less than total subject j and set highest as a total subject j and display the highest percentage mark of student highest if the lowest more than total subject j we set lowest as the total subject j and display lowest percentage mark of student lowest and will end the array flowchart for void display slip gonna use void display slip string name string ic string class name string result string grade 1 grade 2 grade 3 grade 4 grade 5 grade 6 char gender integer count grade d integer count grade c integer count grade b integer count count grade a integer count fail integer count pass and gonna display the sleep result student and end the function Low chart of higher lower subject 1 function first they will set the percentage subject 1 k as a k as 0 and if the k less than cow size they will go to k plus plus and repeat the process until the k more than cow size and they will read the percentage subject 1 k after that they will go to option if the higher one less than percentage subject 1 and they will set as highest one percentage subject 1 and if they are not the lowest one more than percentage subject 1 they will set as the lowest one percentage subject 1 and they will calculate the total mark of the subject 1 as the total mark as 1 using formula total mark as 1 percentage subject k plus 1 and display the total mark of subject 1 and return the total marks 1 they will display the highest mark for bahasa melayu as the highest one and display the lowest mark bahasa melayu as the lowest one and end the function for the subject bahasa melayu for the flowchart for highest lower subject 2, for the bahasa increase, they will use the same function as the highest lower subject 1 for the bahasa Melayu. They will display the highest mark bahasa increase, highest 2 and display lowest mark bahasa increase, lowest 2 and they will end the function.
they will display highest mark mathematics as the highest three and the display lowest mark mathematics as the lowest three and and the function for the subject mathematics. They will display the highest mark science as the highest four and the display lowest mark science as the lowest four and there was n function for the subject science. Display the highest marks of subject sejarah as the highest 5 and the lowest mark of subject sejarah for the lowest 5 and there was n function for subject sejarah. Display the highest mark for subject pendidikan Islam as the highest 6 and display lowest subject for the pendidikan Islam as the lowest 6 and there was the end function for the subject pendidikan Islam. Next, I will explain about the design algorithm which is pseudocode. First, uh, pseudocode for main function. The system will start by read the answer to start the program. While answer is not M, the system will read quantity of student, key in, read student's name, name, read student's gender, read student's identity card, IC, read student class type, and if class type is A, then it will display class name as Aman, if class type is B, it will display class name as Bija, if class type RC, then it will display class name as charming. If class type is D, then it will display class name as diamond, or else it will display as invalid. Next, the system will ask user to key in the student percentage of the subject BM, which is percentage subject 1. If percentage subject 1 is less or equal to 39, then set grade 1 as D. If percentage subject 1 more than or equal to 39 and percentage subject 1 is less than or equal to 59, then set grade 1 as C. If, percent, if percentage subject 1 is more than 60 or equal to 60 and percentage subject 1 is less than or equal to 79, then set grade 1 as B. If percentage subject 1 is less than or equal to 100, then set get 1 as A, or else, set as invalid. Next, the pseudocode for the next subject is, uh, is the same as the previous subject, which is percentage subject 2 is for subject BI, percentage subject 3 is for subject MT, Presented subject 4 is for subject science. And presented subject 5 is for the subject sejarah. Presented subject 6 is for subject BI, which is pendidikan Islam. Then, uh, after user key in all the information needed, the system will calculate the total of student grade. Count grade D using formula count grade D equals to count grade D plus 1 or calculate the total of student grade C count grade C using formula count grade C plus 1 calculate the total of student grade B count grade B using the formula count grade B equals to count grade B plus 1 and calculate the total of student grade A count grade A using formula count grade A equals to count grade A plus 1 Next, the system will calculate the total of student pass using the parameter count pass using formula count pass equals to count pass plus 1. Calculate the percentage of subject fail count fail using formula count fail equals to count fail plus 1. Then, display the total of student grade C count grade C. Display the total of student grade B. Display the total of student count grade A and display the total of student pass, display the total of student fail and also it will 
the system will display the overall sleep result of the student and read the answer whether users want to continue or stop the system. Then, uh, the system will end. For the pseudocode or error function, array is used for user to enter the percentage mark of student, which is uh, we use the array for integer i equals to zero, i is less than key in, and i plus plus. Then uh, the system will start, declare number array zero key in, and to zero, while i is less than key in, input number i and increment i. Then the system will stop. For the next array is for user to enter the percentage mark of student to know the highest and lowest mark. For integer j equals to 0, j is less than 6 and j plus plus. If highest is less than total subject array j, then set highest equals to total subject. Else if lowest is more than total subject, then set lowest equals to total subject. Then, the system will display the highest percentage mark of student, which the parameter highest, and display the lowest percentage mark of student with the parameter lowest, and it will end the error. Next, for the pseudocode for what main page, when user start the system, it will display void main page. For the pseudocode for void display slip, void display slip, we use the function function call string name, string IC, string plus name, string result, string grade 1, string grade 2, string grade 3, string grade 4, string grade 5, string grade 6, chart gender, integer count grade D, integer count grade C, integer count grade B, integer count grade A, integer count fail and also integer count pass and uh, the system will display the overall sleep result of student then it will end the function next for the pseudocode for height low subject 1 function function height low subject 1 float percentage subject 1 integer count size float and percent highest one float and percent lowest one then the system will declare percentage subject 1 using the array uh, set k to 0 then while k is less than count size it will display the input percentage subject 1 increment k if highest is less than percentage subject 1 then set highest 1 is equal to percentage subject 1 if lowest 1 is more than percentage subject 1 then set lowest one is equal to percentage subject one. The system will calculate the total marks of subject one using the parameter total marks s1 using formula total mark s1 equals to percentage subject one plus one. Display total marks of subject one, total marks s1, then it will return total marks s1 and end the function. For the function height low subject one, Percentage subject 1, count size, highest 1 and lowest 1. It will display highest mark for Bahasa Malaysia, highest 1. Display lowest mark, Bahasa Malaysia, lowest 1. And end the function. And this is the pseudocode for high low subject to function. Um, this pseudocode is same as the previous one. This is the pseudocode for high low subject tree function. And this is the pseudocode for high low subject for function which is for subject signs. Next is the pseudocode for high low subject 5 function for subject sejarah. The pseudocode for high low subject 6 function is for subject pendidikan Islam. Next, I'm going to talk about source code. Firstly, is the function 
the function that we use in our coding, which is we have two void, which is function void main page, function void display sleep. Other than that, we have eight function return, which is float height low subject one, float height low subject two, float height low subject three, float height low subject four, float height low subject five, and float height low subject six. Next is variable and loop. We have variable declaration integer main. Next is array for highest and lowest percentage mark student and the option of user to start the grading system, which is the system will ask us the user, do you want to start the grading system? If the user enter Y, which is the system will start. If the user enter and which is no, the credit system will not start. After the user enter Y to start the grading system, the system will ask the user how many students you want to key in, which is how many students that the user want to key in. So after the user key in, how many students that he or she want so the system will ask enter the student name enter the student gender male or female enter the student identity card without dash and enter student class type a b c or d for the class type we have a for aman b for bija c for charming d for diamond and if the user does not enter of any option that has shown in this coding which is a b c or d the system will display invalid next the user need to enter the student percentage of the subject we have six subject which is bm bi mt sn sj and pi bm is for bahasa malaysia bi bahasa inggris mt mathematics sn science sj sejarah and pi is pendidikan islam so we going next to coding which is percentage of subject bahasa malaysia to know the student grade for grade b the student get less equal to 39 grade c the student percentage mark is greater equal to 39 and less equal 59 for grade b the student get less equal 60 and less equal 79 lastly is grade a the student percentage mark is less equal to 100 if the user enter the wrong number or alphabet the system will display invalid This is the coding for percentage of subject Bahasa English to know the student grade. This is percentage of subject Mathematics to know the student grade. This is percentage of subject Science to know the student grade. This is percentage of subject sejarah to know the student grade. This is percentage of subject pendidikan Islam to know the student grade. This is the coding for the user to know highest and lowest mark of the student. The user also will know highest and lowest mark for subject 1 which is Bahasa Malaysia Subject 2 is Bahasa English Subject 3 Mathematics Subject 4 Science Subject 5 Sejarah And lastly subject 6 is Pendidikan Islam This coding is based on function written After the user enter the identity student and 
percentage mark of the student. The system will ask the user, do you want to continue the grading system? Yes or no? If the user say yes, the grading system will start again. And if the user say no, the system will display thank you, hope you enjoy our service, which is the system will display thank you if the user enter and and the grading system will stop. Next, as you can see, we have function void main page, which is welcome to grade Plaza School. If the user enter yes, after the user answer the question in the system, which is, do you want to start the grading system? This is function void display slip. The system will display sekolah kebangsaan Bukit Indah slip result for the border. We have name, gender, identity card, class. Next is subject, we have Bahasa Malaysia, Bahasa Inggeris, Mathematics, Science, Sejarah, and Pendidikan Islam. Next is result, so now the student is pass or failed. Next is total of grade A, B, C or D based on the percentage mark the student get and we have teacher's name and teacher comment. For the subject, Bahasa Malaysia, Bahasa English, Mathematics, Science, Sejarah, Epidemic Islam, this subject will show the grade what student get. This is coding for function return which is float height glue subject 1, float height glue subject 2, and float height glue subject 3. For subject 1 is Bahasa Malaysia, subject 2 is Bahasa English, subject 3 is Mathematics. This coding is for the user to know the percentage mark highest and lowest based on the student, which is how many students they have, they will know the difference, which is who the student get the most highest percentage mark and lowest percentage marks based on their subject. And this is function written for float height low subject 4, float height low subject 5 and float height low subject 6. Subject 4 is for science. Subject 5 for Sejarah and Subject 6 for Pendidikan Islam. Next, I will talk about sample input. For example, if the user wants to key in two students from class online, as you can see, we have two different results. First result is fail and second result is pass. This is because the first student get D for subject Bahasa Malaysia. So, if the student get D, the result will fail. And if student doesn't have D in their result, the student will pass. And the user also will know the highest and lowest percentage based on six subjects which is Bahasa Malaysia, Bahasa Inggeris, Mathematics, Science, Sejarah and Pendidikan Islam. Next, this is the example for two students from class Bija. Next, this is the example for two students from class Charming. Lastly, this is the example for two students from class Diamond. And as you guys can see, 
we have two different results which is fail and pass. If the student get D, the result will fail. And the student doesn't have D, they will pass. For this discussion, the student grading system is an automated grading system that can automate the grading process to reduce the manual effort by users, especially teachers. We have developed a system that enables users to update students' exam results promptly and accurately without wasting time. By using this application, users can provide students with timely feedback, allowing students to track their academic progress, work out the course, and discover areas for improvement. In addition, this system complies with privacy laws and data management best practices to guarantee the security and confidentiality of student data. There are several benefits that users can get by using our system, including user-friendly system, effectiveness in showing students' overall sleep result, and parental engagement, which is parents are able to monitor their child progress of learning that can foster greater communication between parents, teachers, and students. Lastly, this system offers an ongoing means of analyzing performance data, which makes it easier to keep improving curriculum design and teaching strategies. We may conclude from our credit system that we are able to accomplish the system code. Without any issue, our system accomplished the mark and translate the percentage into grade. In addition, our system offers many option array to the user may install as they see fit. For example, we have the array for each subject, the greatest and the lowest mark among them. Finally, GPS system grading can take over the role handwriting system grading in our system.